Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to specifically teach you the technique how to configure auto screenshot on Verify. For example, if you have used a verification expression activity or any other activity, any Verify activity that you have used, and let's say during your testing process, if something fails, you would like to take a screenshot of that. Or let's say you would like to take a screenshot of that even though it is succeeded, you would like to take a screenshot. So basically, how do you configure your UiPath project so that during this verification activity, it takes the screenshot and stores it in the location where you want. So let me teach you this technique. So here I am on my UiPath Studio. This is the previous project which I have created and shown in my previous video. If you know how to use a verify activity, how many different verify activity we have? These are the different verification activities we have. So this is one of them I have used verify expression. Now let's say during the run, if it fails or if it succeeded, I would like to take a screenshot. So for example, let me click on true here. Let me click on true here. Now, once this has been set, the property has been set, you have to go to the project setting and click on this particular settings button. Now, once you are on this page, let me expand this. Click on testing. There's something called testing here. Activity settings, testing. Now, in this one, keep the screenshot, make it true for the run value, for the debug value, let me make it to true. Now let us decide where would you like to keep your screenshots. So let me click on true here, click on OK. Let me go back and decide where would I like to save my screenshots. Now for that, what I will do, I'll right click on the project name and go to open project folder. There will be a folder already called dot screenshots. Let's say you'd like to keep it inside that. It's fine. Let's say you have to, you want to create in your own folder. Let me create a folder and give it a name called test verification screenshots. You can create test verification screenshot for failed for, you know, whatever you want. So I'm giving a name here, test verification screenshots. Now this is inside my project folder or it could be outside of it doesn't matter. Whichever folder you like to keep it right click on that folder and click on copy as path. Go back to your studio and click on projects. Click on project settings. And click on testing. Here it is asking for the screenshot path. So let me copy paste. Remember, while you are passing this value, remove the double quote from here. Okay, same thing. Let me copy this and paste for the debug. Okay, in case you need it. If you only need it in the run, in the production, you can put it here. If you also need it during the debug, you can keep it here. This is optional. Now, let me hit on OK. All right, now let us run it. You can see the test is running. Now, if you look at the output, it said verification passed and true screenshot available in this location. In this location, your screenshot is available. So what you can do, you can go to your projects folder. Now you can see this, the folder is not seen here. For this, click on this filter option and click on other. And simply refresh this. By doing this, the folder that you have created, look for that folder name. You can see this is something folder called test verification screenshot. You can directly navigate to this folder, right click on this and then click on open. And you will be able to see it has captured the screenshot. Now it has captured the screenshot of my UAPA studio. However, if you are running because this is around the leap year, which is happening within the studio. If you are dealing with a website or anything like that during the run, if the website is open and you want to capture certain area or you know you are verifying certain uh, get text, you are doing the 
a specific text in the website so that screenshot will be taken so this is a demo wherein i have shown you it is taking screenshots let me hit on escape let's go back to the studio and let's say i only need only if it fails so i'll put it to true and i do not need if it succeeds for example in this case it has succeeded verification passed now i don't want when it passed i don't want a screenshot so keep it only this one enable when it fails i want a screenshot now for example if i run this again this time you will see it will not take a screenshot because the setting has been modified okay now if i look at the output you can see it has not taken the screenshot if you want to verify go to the projects tab right click on this open you see it was the previous screenshot it contains now let us do one thing here i want this to fail so what i will do i'll go to the workflow i'll make small modification here and i'm going to disable one of the activity so which would lead this particular test case to fail because i'm i have modified the workflow now if i'm going to run this this time it will fail okay so you can see if i go to the output it has failed and you can very well see it has taken a screenshot and it, it has noted here in the output panel now let's say i want to see that go to the projects right click on this open and if you refresh it you will be able to see there's a new file has appeared and this is the this is the place where it has failed okay so it has captured that particular screenshot this is not a leap year so by following these steps you can take a particular screenshot as needed for your workflow for your test case thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic